Good morning. Namaste. Uh, you're all uh, very, very welcome. Falcharo, Egala, Warsha. So you're very, very welcome. Good to see you all here in your finery. And I think uh, the first thing to say is really that um, you've just done well to get here this morning at all. Uh, giving all of the uh, weather conditions and everything else that has prevailed uh, in the last uh, 24 hours. So um, hopefully our journeys were pretty good and you made it, made it here safely. Um, so just to uh, say to you, look, this is a graduation ceremony. This is a big day. A lot of family uh, watching in. Um, a lot of family uh, here uh, present. You know, partners, parents, children, um, and lots of people around the world um, viewing this from live stream. So you're very, very, um, all very, very welcome. And just remember today is a day uh, of celebration. And we have, uh, just this morning, also we'll be announcing, uh, just to remember a few students who can't, unfortunately, for uh, sad circumstances, not be with us here today. But also to remember that we think that those students and uh, their families equally would want that uh, this also is a, a day of occasion with, with joy as well, uh, uh, and, uh, and a major day for you. So just to try and remember that balance, it is very important. So my name, by the way, uh, which I keep forgetting to introduce myself, is uh, uh, Jimmy Hill. I'm the vice president of the college, and many of you will have uh, seen me uh, during the time your time at the college at NCI. So, so it's a great pleasure for me to be here and to welcome you. Um, I should say in advance that our platform party, which is usually usually pretty packed, is a little bit lighter this morning, uh, again due to uh, the travel conditions brought on by, by uh, the storm, Storm Debbie, so, so just, to, just, just to recognize that as well. So, um, well, uh, let's make a start, so we're all, we're all ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you please to be upstanding uh, for the academic procession of the National College of Ireland. And ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to remain upstanding, please, for the arrival of the President of the National College of Ireland, Professor Gina Quinn. Be seated. I now call upon Professor Gina Quinn, President of the National College of Ireland, to address you before we begin this morning's ceremony. Good morning, graduates, and good morning to all of your guests. And um, as Professor Jimmy Hill has said, a sincere congratulations on getting here. 
uh, in such uh, difficult circumstances this morning. We will have uh, more words uh, in a few moments to uh, acknowledge the amazing work of our graduates and their graduation itself. But before we commence the ceremony, uh, I would like if we could spend a few moments to remember two students of the National College of Ireland who unfortunately are not with us here today. So David Philpot was due to graduate from this year's Certificate in Trade Union Studies. Sadly, David passed away earlier this year. And just to let you know that we will be honoring David by awarding a posthumous certificate following this morning's graduation ceremony. <laughs> I'd also like to take a moment to mark a very tragic recent event for everyone here at the National College of Ireland. Uh, our entire uh, student and staff community was greatly saddened by the tragic death of Jocelyna de Santos Ribeiro. Jocelyna was an NCI student in the final semester of her higher diploma in computing and she was on track to graduate in spring 2024. So we remember all of Jocelyna's friends, teachers, her classmates, and I know some of the class graduating today from that particular program uh, would have known her. And we send our very, very deepest condolences to her family uh, at this very, very sad time. So I would ask everybody to join me in a minute's silence while we remember David and Jocelyn. Thank you. Thank you. Agus Ginyani, Dia Thruokra, Erin Adam Yaha. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to welcome you to this important ceremony at which awards will be conferred on students of the National College of Ireland. Aina Erika is more an honour due for a nefalcha a curov higan sharmanis brunta kemanisha in a brunfer duishina er vickling halisha nashunta neheran. I now call upon Professor Gina Quinn, President of the National College of Ireland, to confer Masters degrees, diplomas and certificates on the students of the National College of Ireland on behalf of Quality and Qualifications Ireland presented by the college for that purpose. Could I ask all graduates to please stand. On behalf of Quality and Qualifications Ireland, I hereby confer masters, postgraduate diplomas, degrees, diplomas and certificates of the council on the candidates at the National College of Ireland. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses at the National College of Ireland and who are worthy of the masters, degrees, diplomas and certificates. I request you to present their parchments to them. A Uktaran, Kurum Nihin Kimi Shahalanas, 
a jiri lo cursi, a creator, a gollisha, nashunta in the heron, August ega will maestraha, kemena, diplomi, August devneha, yarvu, kaliakta, August kaliakta erin, tilcha aku. Irem sa orcha, anish, a bar of runu orhu. Please be seated. And those who are not present will be conferred in absentia, and their names will not be called out. Could I also ask, if you pleased, to hold your applause until after each group of five graduates has been called. And I should also, at this point, actually, uh, the names of the graduates and the graduating students are read by their deans uh, of school. And to just introduce you to who those uh, two people are here this morning. We have uh, Professor Paul Steins, who is the uh, Dean of the School of Computing, and the School of uh, Business uh, Awards will be read by uh, Professor Colette Darcy, who's the Dean of School of Business. So, Master of Science in FinTech, Professor Steins. Oleinke Johnson Abolede. Joshua Olete, Wagabo An Alu, Jeevan Kumar Ayum Perumal Rajan, and Sumya Chowdhury. Vina Chanethi, Zi Ying Chong, Smitha Divango, Olofomileo Famosaya, and Patricio Garahi. Diana Lorena Gutierrez, Benny Gumaras, Manel Hemida, Ting Yi Lu, and Ruchik More. Ponchum Nalawude, Michael O'Carfor, Ubin Puli Kotil Tambi, Push Paraj Sampat, and Ashish Saraf. Alexandra Scott, Habil Shihoriwala, Harshit Tiwari, Omotolani Uji, Nagaraju Velisheta, and Vinita Vijarya Kumar. Master of Science in Management. Harita Ravi, Esther Abigail Acosta Jimenez, Luez Enrique Andrea Castillo, Happy Antil, Anoop Anthony.
Mariana Isabel Avila Collins, Georgia Bean, Alberto Bernal Tovar, David Byrne, Carla Centeno. Victoria Cervantes, Panans, Simran Chauhan, Aaron Clark, Dara Cullen, Kieran Doyle. Sitlali Gallegos Figueroa, Shona Graham, Nahir Kati Oska Utardo Macado, Shivani Katar, Sharat Kati. Nikhil Kathri, Samyukta Kumar, Long Kiu, Vakhaya Vivavan Madusadhanan, Camilla Maldo Adon. Ashuk Kumar, Litsi Pamela Molina, Sushit Munda Yadan, Johit Munjal, Muhomitha Murali. Deng Guat Nuer, Felushu Olu Stevens, Iefeinwa Sarah Osarji, Jai Sharon Pandian, Gauri Patil. Yasmin Penders, Christiane Rodriguez Pereira, Veraragava Ramareo, Nicolas Ramers, Saravan Ravi Chandran. Johan Rivera, Azalea Jasmine Rosas Saldana, Arun Satish, Ognatega Tebrin, Saira Andrea Valdez Barbosa. Yuri Verma, AJ Vinayagamorthy, Sao Shi Wu, Christian Zamudio Aguilon.
<laughs> Bachelor of Arts, Honours in Accounting and Finance. Jacob Beale, Mark Brady, Sean Cameron, Rebecca Gannon, Sophie King. Ellen McCormick, Georgia McHugh, Stephen Mooney, Jessica Platten, Katerina Petrova, Chelsea Scott. Bachelor of Science, Honours in Computing. Joswell Bautista, Ian Betel, Vitali Brixanu, Tamara Diaz Brevers, and Jordan Buckley. Verd Verdran Badroff, James Butler, Cameron Byrne, Jishun Chen, James Croak, and Daniel Cullen. Owen Ferry, Luke Ferry, Jake Fitzmaurice, Sean Fulton, and Cree Gunning. Lee Harold, Kaylee Harris, Mary Elizabeth Oru, Maximiliano Herrera, and Connor Hughes. Bridget Kabuwe, James Koala, Connor Keller, Christopher King, and Marius Kuharski. Ruby Lennon, Emmett Malone, Alex McAllister, Sean McDonnell, Elijah McNamara.
Ben Miley, Shane Mulrooney, Connor Odeme Ne, Oluwa Toby Laba Ogunkaya, and Alexis Peshon. Suthieta Promchamcha, Lloyd Portes, Adam Regan, Trey Robert, and Josh Rotwell. Kerry Newman Ryan, Gabrielle Salas Segura, Nathan Savage, Garrett Shaw, Connor Sheridan, Machai Sobiecki, and Gvi Das Wershilas. Higher Diploma in Computing. Biani Od Difred, Alparslan Balci, Luis Canedo, Ivan Alejandro Casas Torres, and Barbara Castro Muniz. <laughs> Young Jin Cho, Julia Coloma, Erica de Almide Pereira, Flavio Pereira de Carvajalo, Bruna Luisa de Castro. Gabriel Garcia Santana, Alberto Gomez, Tamiris Gonzalez da Silva, Patrick Ganain, and Donal Hanway. Sean Callaghan, Emre Kavak, Rajesh Kumar, Chungman Lee, and Sriniki Rirai Mabika. Ariani Macedo Gomez de Campos, Kat Katarzyna Matushik, Ronan McLaughlin, Glenda Morris, and Stefan Nastasa.
Nicholas O'Grady, Stanley O'Ranulu, Shiana Peva de Morta, Constantine Patrick, and Maetzi Ramirez Martinez. Elan Hayes, Sabrina Rodriguez Sikeru, Sabrina Rosa de Oliveira, Javier Sanchez Arribas, and, and David Scallon Walsh. Jose Andres Silva Herrean, Vinicius Silva Resende, Alexandra Sobo Williams, Pam Pamela Viana Quintanilha, and Anu Yadav. Bachelor of Science in Computing. Martin Breen, David Byrne, Anthony Delgado, Lorcan Mills, and Felipe Reyes. Higher Certificate in Business. Rachel Gosker, Aaron Keddy, Yasmin Napier, Sean O'Brien. For the next uh, number of certificates, we'd like to extend a special welcome to our partner, the Department of Social Protection. So you're very, very welcome here to our graduation today. Uh, certificate in Social Welfare Appeals. Gronia McBride, Kira McDermott, Marina McMorrow, Gillian O'Farrell, and Gillian Ward. Certificate in Public Employment Services Provision. Elaine Carolyn, Linda Condon, Fanula Pitt, Shay Quigley, Brian Shanahan. Certificate in Social Protection Investigative Work. Marion Cushion, David Dowling, Mary Goldsboro, Anya McKenna.
Certificate in Social Sorry. Welfare Decision Making. Certificate in Social Protection Investigative Work. There's just a few more. Okay. Yvonne Nolan, Caroline O'Rourke, Anthony Redmond. Now take two, <laughs> Certificate in Social Welfare Decision Making. Owen Bernard, Geraldine Boucher, Gillian Bryan, Katrina Cole, Anne Conheedy. Kira Couch, Michelle Deegan, Anya Duffy, Finola Dunn, Louise Fox. Emer Gallagher, Monica Gillick, Deborah Gonsalves, Claire Hayes, James Joy. Louise Kelly Kane, Linda McDade, Janice McFeely, Rona McGreevy, Marie McManus. Eilish Mulvaney, Mary Theresa Flaherty, Louise O'Neill, Rachel Orange, Barbara Oscott. Dawn Riley, Eileen Scott, Mary Wolf Keane. Certificate in Social Protection Studies. Jenny Colbert, Stephen Collins, Ellen Corcoran, Anya Kumiski, Dylan Dumphy. Ukeria Iziomelu, Mark Ferry, Helena Fenley Lochnan, Mary Foley O'Hanlon, 
David Gray. Jacintha Harlow, Michelle Hayes, Geraldine Healy, Lorcan Lavelle, Caroline Linsky. Margaret McCarthy, Michelle McGrain, Orla McKeown, Kleena O'Carroll, Helen O'Reilly Ryan, O'Leary Ryan, Helen O'Leary Ryan. Ashling O'Loughlin, Magella O'Shea, Suzanne Quinn, Garrett Smith, Paul Walsh. Certificate in Trade Union Studies. Chris Connolly, Gary Donaghy, Alan Hanlon, Declan Healy, and Francis McGee. Bernadette Quinn, Patricia Rogers, Michael Shanley. And uh, just a few who um, were slightly late this morning because of the conditions outside. Uh, the Master of Science and Management, Harsh Godara. <clears throat> and Certificate in Trade Union Studies, we have David Mannion and Anthony Ralph. <clears throat> and <clears throat> And finally, the Higher Diploma in Science and Computing, Luis Carlos Gomez Pereira, Jr. Well done. I think he waited deliberately. And sorry, just uh, bear with me. Um, just a few more as well who um, were late to register because of the weather. Certificate in Investigative Work in Social Protection, Daniel Kjarn, Kevin Cryan, and Anne-Marie Dennigan. Certificate in Social Welfare Decision-Making, Tina Byrne. And Certificate in Public Employment Services Provision, Helen Murphy.
Thank you. I now call upon Professor Gina Quinn, President of the National College of Ireland, to present the President's Student Award, which recognises both academic achievement and commitment to college life. Today, we celebrate a remarkable individual who embodies the essence of dedication and resilience. In face of many challenges, they showcased unwavering commitment to their studies, excelling both in the online environment and, and in-person learning. This individual not only achieved outstanding results, but also contributed significantly to other collaborative endeavors in the college. One uh, particularly notable achievement was uh, this individual's involvement in a management accounting two presentation where the group in which this person was presented an innovative golf ball design, leaving the judges absolutely thoroughly impressed and amazed by this design. The commitment of this individual to excellence earned them a well-deserved overall result of first-class honours. Now, this graduate embarks on a promising career as a trainee financial accountant. accountant sorry. In recognising this student's exceptional journey, we honour the academic achievements, the determination and the innovative spirit. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of this year's President's Student Award is Sean Cameron. Well done, Sean. Sure. I now call upon Karen Jones, the Registrar of the National College of Ireland, to present the Student Participation and Innovation Award. And this year, I'm delighted to say that we have two recipients of this award. The first recipient of the Student Participation and Innovation uh, Award um, is a student who even before beginning uh, at the National College of Ireland was very aware and conscious of the need for and the importance of support um, and student support. This student, when they joined the college, proactively engaged with our support team at the college, fully aware of the challenges that lay ahead when transitioning uh, from school to the college environment. This move from the familiar school environment to a larger and unfamiliar setting, which is a case for many people, brought about a host of new challenges and this student rose to meet these challenges in a, in a wonderful way. But however, as we all know, just as progress was being made, the COVID-19 pandemic struck and this compelled uh, an, uh, just an about turn again for everybody and a shift, a sudden shift to online learning. And no surprise, actually, um, but with, with a great deal of endeavor, this student very quickly adopted to that online uh, environment. This student um, actually very innovative, uh, used their initiative, found their own workplace um, and the dedication to their studies, along with their efforts to raise awareness and understanding of autism within the National College of Ireland is really truly remarkable and commendable. It has been an absolute privilege 
for all of us to witness this student's journey at the National College of Ireland. And we eagerly anticipate and are almost excited about following this student's future endeavours. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Student Participation and Innovation Award is Sean McDonnell. Well done, Sean. The second recipient of the Student Participation and Innovation Award is not only an outstanding academic achiever, but also a remarkable, forceful presence on the NCI campus. As a scholarship athlete, this individual displayed and continues to display extraordinary talent, unwavering dedication and exemplary uh, sportsmanship, earning the admiration of his peers and indeed of all of the faculty. This individual's leadership has extended well beyond the arena of sports as they served as a student leader, offering a warm welcome in particular to incoming first-year students and to helping them through that transition to college life. However, this individual's commitment to making a positive impact didn't stop there. They further showcased their leadership abilities by securing the position of Students' Union Vice President. In this role, they continue to advocate for student interests, fostering a vibrant an inclusive campus community. Their passion for serving others, coupled with their remarkable skills, has left an enduring impression on NCI, serving as a source of inspiration for all. Additionally, it's worth noting that there may well be a, we may well be welcoming, and I have no doubt we will be welcoming, this student back to the graduation stage next year, as they have recently embarked on a part-time master's degree at the college. It brings me absolutely great pleasure to announce that the second winner of the Student Participation and Innovation Award is Trey Robert. I'm thinking, Mrs. Robert, there might be a lot of claims for your boy. <laughs> so well done. Koyarjis, hello, and Verchaki. Um, I now call upon Professor Gina Quinn, President of the National College of Ireland, to address the graduates. Gina. Thank you all. And um, can I just say, a particular thank you to all our graduates. Uh, what an amazing day. I think you all deserve another round of applause. <laughs> the
This is a great day of celebration. But can I just ask our graduates for a moment to have a think about everybody who has helped you to get to this day. Whether that is your family, your friends, your colleagues, whether it is the lecturers and tutors here at National College of Ireland, whether it is our support staff at National College of Ireland. Graduates, can you give them a round of applause? So I have a few words of advice, graduates, mainly about your next steps. Many of you might be already in career. Many of you will be looking for your next stage in that career. Some of you will be looking for that career. Wherever you are in your particular pathway, I really hope that you will use your National College of Ireland qualification as a badge of honour. You have worked really, really hard to achieve this qualification. Please don't forget about it and don't let others forget about it either. Please use that qualification to brighten your own life and the life of others around you. I don't think I have to remind anybody that hope, light, and optimism are really needed more than ever in our world today. We are watching the wars around this planet unfold with horror. We're watching the impacts of climate change. How many storms have we had already? Not just the one that hit us overnight. And that's here in Ireland. We know the impacts are much greater in other parts of the world. We are seeing the plight of economic and climate refugees. So this is the larger context for all of us. Yes, we all want and need to find our place in the world, our own stability, financially and personally, a place to work, a place to live and love, a place to be the best version of ourselves. But at best, we do that for both ourselves and for the world around us. My hope for all of you, our graduates, is that your learning and knowledge, your proven ability to solve problems, your ability to think critically, to work with others to find solutions, the skills of tenacity and resilience that you've applied to your learning experience here at NCI, the way you have learnt to learn. All of this will be the power behind your next steps and your ability to light a path, not just for yourself, but for others around you. Remember, graduates, that we are all part of a myriad of networks, large and small. Everything we do has an impact on others, an impact on those we know and those we have yet to meet. Make it a good impact. Our objective here in NCI, yes, has been to support you in achieving an excellent qualification that has worldwide recognition, but also to allow you the space to develop personally, to learn for yourself, and to make you appreciate the courage that you need to carry all of these skills forward in your life. 
So I ask you graduates to use your newly earned knowledge, strength and light. Use your determination to address both your personal and our world's challenges as we move on from this day of graduation. I ask you to have courage, kindness, tolerance, and most of all, belief in yourself. Go out and have an impact for good. Have courage. Don't be afraid. As James Joyce said, mistakes are the portals of discovery. Use your mistakes. A wonderful poet, Maya Angelou, advised us all to live life in a way that we don't regret any time when we suffered from inertia or timidity. She asks us to take up the battle because this is your life, this is your world. Remember those words. And also remember that today's graduation is not a destination. It's a step along the pathway, your own personal pathway, but supported by the network of friends and family and the network of everybody here in National College of Ireland. And do keep in touch with us. We would love to hear from you, hear how you're getting on, and of course, to have those conversations about any future educational needs you might have. We'd be delighted to welcome you back to the college at any time. Can I, in closing, give a special thanks to all of my colleagues here in the National College of Ireland who have worked with you and supported you to get you to this day. They look forward to working with you as I do. Together, everybody here in NCI wishes you every success in the future. Thank you, graduates. Thank you, Professor Quinn. This concludes the meeting for the purposes of conferring masters, degrees, diplomas and certificate awards on the students of the National College of Ireland. Best wishes and thanks to all. Guests and students are requested to remain in their places until the president and the academic platform has uh, left uh, the stage, please. Uh, thank you. Gornamila Mayag of Galera. And be sure to, finally, just be sure to enjoy the rest of this very, very special day, you know. Don't get blown away with the wind out there, um, you know, um, but have a day of celebration with your family and friends. And as we say in the Irish language, na tegi har four lesson olachan. Somebody can translate that for you, but it basically means don't drink too much water. <laughs> Thank you.